All right, guys. Uh, I was hoping to do a video showing some progress, which I was doing. Uh, I've been data logging the last couple of weeks. I actually got the car started and driving. But uh, last weekend, I ran into a problem. Um, I was on my way back home, and uh, as I was climbing the hill, I began to lose power. Like, I hit a wall, and it eventually stalled out. And immediately got a P0690 code, which is related to the ECM-PCM. Um, so I had to get the car towed back home. And I wasn't sure exactly what triggered the code and what caused it to stall. But I did have a negative ba battery cable that was a little loose, so we got it tightened down and, and whatnot. It set overnight, and then I started it, and it started. But And it sat there, and it uh, idled for about, I want to say, about five minutes. And the AFR was reading a little bit on the lean side, like leaner than normal, but not like dangerously lean. But then I gave it a few feather revs, and then after about a few seconds, it started to stall out again. And I haven't been able to get it to start since. And I've noticed, too, when I try cranking it, it doesn't build up any fuel pressure up here on the rails. If I remember right, even when you, when you, uh, oh, if I can get it to focus. But uh, even when you prime the engine, it's supposed to build fuel pressure. So it stays at zero and just so you guys know if you don't know I have the GT500 twin pumps this is an on three turbo kit and uh, yeah ever since then I, I went over looked at the grounds I uh, not the grounds for the pump in the back you know they look good I'm actually getting ready to try some new relays just to be on the safe side but I don't I don't know like I don't think so and then what I did is I pulled the fuel line off with a hose attached and I had my bucket under here and primed it no fuel came out I just now pulled the fuel filter off you know just to make sure it's not bad gas or anything um, as you can see I mean that doesn't really look bad but uh again I'm gonna show you guys here in the video You can hear the fuel pump. Nothing, nothing's coming out. See, listen, let me turn the radio down. Now you're not hearing anything. So, um, I guess I could, I don't know if it's the ECM. Um, I don't know if it's the fuel pump itself. I'm going to try these relays, see what it does, but I've moved them around and it didn't do anything. So I'm not really too confident that that's the problem. Uh, I'm trying to think. I've never really tested the, you know, the fuel pump yet. Not really. I'm not really all that good with the electronics. So maybe one of you guys in the comments can kind of guide me to what wires on here to the test let me find a flashlight Hang on. okay now I'm not sure which wires down here to test to make sure you know it's getting power or not and to make sure it's not the fuel pump or it's a wire to the pump or you know the ECU itself because you know since I cleared the battery and all that the code has come back but it hasn't started so can a fuel pump issue trigger the ECU code because the other thing is when it stalled it obviously right before it stalled it started leaning out you know went up to 13 14 or it was 14 15 16 17 18 and you know leaned and, and it just stalled so the other thing is when I first installed this kit it wasn't all the way tuned so when I try to start it and all during data logging it was running rich as hell like I'm talking like 10 somewhere between 10 and a half to 11 AFR before we got it to where it was you know drivable I don't know if that would wear a fuel pump out that fast god I'd hope not because if that was not a cheap kit that's a GT500 kit um so 
Damn. I mean, somebody told me about leading a hot a hot lead, but I just don't really want to splice into factory wiring if I don't have to. If there's another way to test the fuel pump, I would, you know, I would like to hear your guys' input, but damn it. Um, I'm honestly thinking if this fuel pump is trash, I'm just going to say to hell with it. It's time to probably go to return list style. You know, that's what most boost guys do anyway. I'll probably just have to do the returnless style. I did just get paid uh, a bonus at work, so I could do that if, if it came down to it. But if I can get this kit to work, I prefer it. But if it's if it's anywhere where that pump's not going to be reliable, I would rather yank it, spend the money, than have to rebuild a whole engine because, you know, I leaned out and grenaded. So, um, yeah, so that's that's the dilemma. I mean, like I said... It was running good. I had to fix a little leak. I had to fix a leak under here. Uh, both, a, uh, I'm thinking power steering. I think one of the hoses loose and a uh, one of the the tubings came loose. So I wasn't building any boost. But other than that, it seemed like it was running fine. It wasn't it, up until that point. It wasn't stalling. You know, I was the data logging was going great. So hopefully, I can figure this out and get the necessary parts or the necessary diagnosis to get her back and going because she's that close so stay tuned for another update let me know in the comments what you guys uh what you know and what i can do and appreciate it guys see you